Hello to everybody who watch us. I'm Dr. Adrian Putinian, as you know me, from the channel uh, Diazan, Centro Medical Diazan, and I'm super honored to have you both here, Krishna and Tom. Yeah. Thank you for coming to see us. Yeah, yeah. we appreciate it. Yeah. My pleasure, and uh, I want to take this opportunity to talk a little bit about uh, Megaspore Biotic yeah. and uh, its phenomenal yeah. effect on uh, different pathology. I have an experience of uh, over uh, a year and a half right now with a couple hundred of, of patients with different pathology but all linked with the gut because as uh, Hippocrates said, all the disease begin in the gut. Yeah. Yeah. So I treat patients successful with uh, irritable bowel syndrome, with uh, reflux disease, uh, with uh, metabolic syndrome, and I obtained very good results in losing weight and uh, correct the, the, the biology in uh, lipids, fraction, and inflammation and stuff. I have wonderful uh, results in inflammatory bowel disease, uh, especially in uh, ulcerative colitis, a couple of cases, and uh, not, uh, not in the first place, but uh, I still have a couple of cases of cancer, terminal cancer. With the uh, obviously phenomenon of leaky gut, yeah. and uh, I have wonderful results yeah. with uh, with Megaspore. Yeah. So Megaspore is a fantastic uh, drug. Yeah. We could say no <laughs> supplement. It's a drug. Right. It yeah. should be because it's, it's be, right. a treat condition. Yeah. And uh, I want to ask you, Kiran, yeah. why is so good? Yeah. And, uh, so that, that's such an important question. So. All of the things you name, right? Although they seem like completely de detached conditions, you know, you talked about um, IBS or ulcerative colitis and uh, cancer at the same time, and then reflux disease. But at the end of the day, all of these have two common things, and that is a dysbiotic flora and severe inflammation. Yeah, right? and all, all it's linked with the with the crosstalk between the microbiota and the immune system. system. Immune Absolutely. system, exactly. Yeah. And in fact, our immune system is typically trained by our microbiota. So if our microbiota doesn't have the proper uh, population, doesn't have the proper inflammation, it's not going to train the immune system correctly. Um, and you know, even like in cancer, for example, I always tell people inflammation is a, is a pool in which cancer breeds, right? And same with autoimmune disease and cardiovascular disease and metabolic syndrome. So when we were looking developing Megaspore, the whole idea was how do we fix that population issue in the gut and then fix the inf inflammation issue, you know? And if we can address both of those, we'll see these kind of results. We were confident. Um, and so we identified bacteria that have this natural capability of fixing the bacterial population in the gut. We're submitting a, a study for publication in the next month that shows that when you add megaspore to the microbiome, it actually dramatically increases the diversity of the microbiome. Which is a good thing. Which is a good thing, yeah. hands across. Diversity hands and robust microbiota robust. is the goal. It's the goal. Yeah. That's what gives us resilience, that's what gives us all of these biological functions that we're supposed to be able to do on a day-to-day -day basis. It also, and this was surprising to some degree, dramatically increases the growth of very well-known protective strains in the gut. Strains like Fecalum bacteria prostatae, right, which is really important. Lots of studies show that high levels of Fecalum bacteria are very protective against inflammatory bowel conditions. Um, high growth of Acromantia mucinophilia, which protects against metabolic syndrome and all these uh, lipid issues and so on. Higher levels of different bacteria, which are like again, again, body weight issues, uh, yeah. immune dysfunction, and, and you so could on. not obtain a higher level of bifidobacterium giving bifidobacterium. Right, you can, <laughs> yeah. Number one, it's not going to make it all the way there, right? It's most of the probiotic bifidobacteria are going to die on the way there. 
Um, the other thing is the stuff that's grown in the factory is not what naturally exists in your gut. And so they're just not going to colonize and stick around. So we found an endogenous natural way to regrow acromantia, fecal bacteria, bifidobacteria, all of these all the good stuff. All the good stuff, right? That, that we tend to be in the Western world really low in. Um, so we are low in protective bacteria, we're low in diversity, but we have these crazy leaky guts. And our guts are leaking inflammatory uh, endotoxins all the time. circulatory system all the time. It's just an open toxic wound, you know, and uh, Tom just did a talk, uh, we were at a probiotic show actually, and uh, here wonderful Amsterdam and uh, Tom just did a talk. Because we are in Amsterdam. 